Yes! My sleek braids. channel if you're new here hi my name is Kim Naima and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I install these jumbo size knotless rubber band method braids with the loose with the end so these are like goddess jumbo size braids and this look was inspired by Tommy Lee from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and the best part about it is that it only took me two hours to install so that was great and please stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll be showing you some tips and tricks of how to keep your braids looking like on point. So yeah, please enjoy the video and yes, let's get into the demo. I ended up buying um, one pack of um, loose wavy hair. This one um, I got from the Lulu Tress company and this one is in the beach curl. Now you can use any curl pattern you want. I just went with this one because it has more of like a relaxed beachy type of vibe wave to it I use that you're gonna need crochet hook also some elastic bands you're gonna need um, for your edges a good edge control gel I chose to go with the got to be with a baby toothbrush um, a big tub of hair gel um, some scissors and oops almost joked myself in my eye some scissors um, a rat tail comb and the most important part of this install is the type of Kanank Long braiding here. I prefer to go with the Free Trist brand. Um, it comes three bundles in one pack and it was a really good value at my beauty supply store. I think everything was like three bundles um, was under six dollars. One thing I do love about this pack of hair is that, you know, the length is really good. It's 26 inches in length. I'm sorry, 28 inches in length and it's um, easy to manage so it doesn't really tangle that much it's tangle free pre-stretch antibacterial and good for hot watering hot water settings and the hair is super soft so I'm just gonna uninstall this one. Oh, I forgot you're gonna need nail glue that's so key I forgot to tell you that <laughs> so yeah and you don't want to make the um, you don't want the elastic band to be too tight around your hair because you're going to still need to feed in the connect on braiding hair with the crochet hook so you're going to need a little bit of a little bit of room so yeah because i think for each um for each section i was able to use maybe because this is the amount that you get in one bundle so i was able to use about three or four um bundles for each section in my um, jumbo braids. So this is like one full section. So like I'm using that much. A larger size hook for uh, the jumbo braids because this one is smaller. Like I'm gonna just show you the difference. This is the smaller hook and this is the bigger hook. For the jumbo braids, I would suggest getting the bigger hook. See when it's my time, when it's my time. So I'm just gonna climb until this my time. So yeah, you want two even sides. Okay. Then you want to, you know, pull this in just to secure it back to the base. And take a little bit of gel on my natural hair. See my hair doesn't have that much thickness. I'm gonna take some of this canankle on braiding hair and bring it into the center so I can make um, all three sides like evenly balanced with with enough hair and then I'm gonna proceed to gather up all the hair from the two sides into the middle so I can have like an even distribution of hair so now I have three legs of hair and now I'm gonna take one side going this way and I'm gonna to proceed to braid inward. Same thing on that side and braid inward. When it's my time, when it's my time. So I'm just gonna climb until it's my time. 
looking like it's it's pretty much knotless. There's no knots, right? Because I'm braiding everything inward. Once I get to like this part of the braid, that's when I start to feed in the crochet hair. The this hair, which is the beach curl hair. And I just add it right into, in between the braiding hair like that, and proceed to braid down. Just like that. So to secure the end, I'm just gonna take, if you can see, I'm gonna take a little bit of this longer piece, and I'm going to do a double or triple slip knot on this braid. So that's one slip knot and two. Can you see? I'm doing two. That's two slip knots and a third. Can you see that? I hope you could see. I'm just doing a slip knot. Don't worry if you didn't see it the first time because I'm going to do another um, demo for you. Okay, so that's three knots. You could leave it as is with just a slip knot, but because I don't want this braid to go anywhere, I just dab a little bit, not a lot, a little bit of a nail glue and not too much because the nail glue sometimes when, it, when you put it on the braid, it can leave like a white cast, so I just put a little bit just to seal that off and that's it. Okay, so That one's in. Okay. I'm going to show you another. I'm going to show you one more time, but this time I won't do a talk through. I'm just going to go ahead and just do it. Okay. So I'm going to cut this one out. Yeah, they get it, get it. Not because they have to. Gotta make a living. That's what the cash do. You cannot take what's mine. My destiny and it's been on my mind. What's meant to be will always be God's love line. When it's my time, when it's my time, when it's my time I'll shine. When it's my time, family will be just fine. See, when it's my time, when it's my time, when it's my time, so I'm just gonna climb until it's my time. Not the the canicula portion of the hair a little bit because it might be a little bit uh, stiff like how it's like stiff like this um, you can dip it in some hot water and I'll show you how to do that just um, I'll show you how to do that without disrupting the curl patterns on the bottom okay so I'm gonna be using a little bit of hot water just to relax the braid that I just braided down it's optional but I decided I want to do that and I added a little bit of moringa oil to the water so that once I dip it, it should give the hair a nice luster and sheen, okay? And I'll do it without disrupting the loose curls on the end. So yeah, I'm gonna take it and dip. And I'll probably dip it all the way to the base of this braid here, just before it gets into that curly part of that braid. So just like right at the base of that braid. So it seals everything all in. And so you can see that the braid is more relaxy. It's not as stiff, very relaxed. And by the way, these braids are so lightweight. I'm just, I'm so impressed with um, this braiding here because it's not heavy at all. And the hair is so soft. Oh my gosh, like I'm loving this, like loving this look, you guys. And this is so nice for like summertime, springtime, 
low maintenance just so dope I'm just doing all of them because I just want to refresh my braids so yeah my shirts wet by the way so yeah so these are the ends and I'm just gonna show you the trick that I learned um, so any leave-in conditioner um, I'm just using the cream of nature um, curl cream but you can use any leave-in conditioner or curl cream and you just basically use some gel like if the ends are trashy and run the gel through the curly pieces with some leave-in any kind of leave-in okay just on the ends and it just revives the curls and refreshes everything Be very fruitful Be no one of friend from Fuck one with your hypocrites self Them I worry about me, me no worry about them Talk about me, me no talk about them Fly aways, fly aways Uh, 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 not on our braids <laughs> Oh my goodness guys okay so now I'm going to do my edges and you guys already know the deal I'm gonna be taking my baby toothbrush I'm gonna take my baby toothbrush and slick them down with um, this is a clear gel so I like it because it doesn't leave a residue and this is the got to be and slick these date bad boys down but them only a pretend Oh me, oh my, me no trust none of them I worry about me, me no worry about them Talk about me, me no talk about them Want be me friend, but them only a pretend Oh me, oh my, me no look on them Me lifestyle no cranny, call me the bossy Hot makeup running, it'll all dry and blend in So don't worry about that I'm just trying to slip them down So they don't look so rough looking And unrefined I like to make them look sleek and smooth Especially when you're just wearing these braids like that's how you make your braids pop You know what I mean? Like when you make sure you refine your edges you you know Do all that stuff. We are looking so cute. You can't tell me nothing. Okay. Like I got my little Yes My sleek braids. Yes. Oh my gosh. Just look at these curls you guys. I love this curl pattern. This is the Beach Curl by Lou Lou Tress. Okay, make sure you remember that because these are some bomb ends. Like, I love that. I love it. It's not too tight, not too loose. It's like just the right type of curl pattern. Long, you guys. I'm going to see if I can stand up so you can see the length. But I made them super long because we trying to be all, you know, we trying to do the most. <laughs> so yeah. Yes. Everything is like past my butt. So I'm guessing it's about 35 inches. But it's cute. It's good. And don't forget when you're wearing these braids, always use a satin scarf when you go to bed so they just... Because bigger braids tend to like fray easily so you just scarf it at night and you'll be good to go thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for the support and the love I appreciate each and every one of you um, I know that right now YouTube has changed with their algorithm and I was complaining with my last video but I'm not gonna complain I am just gonna keep pushing through and anytime I'm having that a good inspiration to do any sort of protective style you will see here on this channel so if you like what you've seen if you like my content go ahead and subscribe at that red button down below and, and be a part of the kingdom tribe notification game and as always be blessed and i'll talk to you in my next one bye guys